Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Crazy Bad 4x4x5 off-center uh, cube. So this, uh, I made a copy, a prototype, and a bunch of copies that sold uh, a long time ago, years ago, and then Calvin asked if he could mass produce this about four years ago. I said sure, and then he never did. And then all of a sudden, four years later, I'm seeing pictures of it. So I guess he did, and uh, he sent me a bunch of the copies. Now this is what you would get if you bought it in the actual store. It comes in a nice clear box, it's got the Calvin's logo, um, Calvin's puzzle logo there, and then my Crazy Bad logo is actually down in there. Um, so this is what you would get. So this is my version. This is a prototype version that I was sent early. And, uh, and so I stickered it. These are with speed cubing stickers. That's why you'll see some rounded on like right here, 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 like a four by four, but then also right here. Cause I didn't have actual four by four by five stickers for this. And the stickers that he sent me were V cube stickers. And they're those terrible nylon pieces of crap. So I didn't want to put those on, but that's not what comes on here. These are actual like stickers from Calvin's puzzle. All right, so this is a four by four by five. So basically, if you take a six by six and you glue the top layer to the second layer and then cut that top layer off, fill it all with epoxy sculpt, you will then have a shape shifting cube, sort of like that, right? Glued these two layers together. So now this one moves, but you can't move it here because now they're bandaged to this one and same with this one. And I got this idea because uh, a lot of people have made like a, they took a three by three by five that's sort of like this or like that and then they did the same thing and they made a three by three by four that could do the same thing so i was like i want to make one order higher and this is the result and it was a, it's a really fun puzzle and you can get some really cool parodies with it as long as you scramble it properly now you do need to know algorithms in order to scramble it even so there's that <laughs> but basically once it's scrambled it's like a four by four solve and then these two top layers are just completely scrambled and you have to solve them together because you can't solve them independently you have to solve these two together by paying attention of what's already done placing it properly doing an algorithm and kind of rebuilding the two layers as one and it's a little bit more difficult than it may seem as long as you scramble it properly and you can get some parodies from that anyways uh so a lot of people have asked me can you take this puzzle and basically make it a four by four by just taking two of these removing these two layers and replacing it with the bottom layer of another one and the answer is yes so that's actually where i got this four by four by six from so if you just replace this top layer with these top two layers um then you'll have two of these right so, and people say, well, would the four by four be good? And the answer is no, <laughs> it is not a good four by four. And the reason for that is because you, you have double the amount of uh, wing edge pieces on the inside and you only need one or like one on each side. Sorry. Um, here's, there's two on each side. So obviously that plus there's like absolutely no reverse corner cutting whatsoever with this. And it just locks up. Not to mention you will pop it very, very easily if you were to speed solve this thing. Um, but you can take them apart and put it together as a six by six and a four by four if you would like. All right, so uh, you can get these everywhere. Uh, currently, uh, you can get them on the cubicle.us. Uh, they're $29.99. I remember um, other mass produced puzzles I have from Calvin's were like $36. So that's actually a pretty good price with this. You can get this in white, um, blue, or black. And uh, weighs 162.3 grams. Now you're not going to get this color scheme. This is basically what you're going to get. So let's go ahead and open one of these brand new ones so you can see it. And then we'll scramble up the puzzle. Come on. I just clipped my nails for this video. That's why. All right. So this is what you get. The usual packaging and then one of these. I prefer yellow on top. You know, classic color scheme. Um, Calvin doesn't do that. Uh, so, I mean, that's his choice. It's his company. He's the one producing it. Um, so this is what you're going to get. And in terms of the way this one feels right out of the box, I've never opened that box before. Um, it's really, really smooth, extremely smooth puzzle. In fact, I'd say it's, it seems to be even smoother than a regular four by four by six. Uh, I know that they couldn't. Okay. So basically I'm going to explain something here too. Basically the mod is you're just making a new corner piece because you could take these two pieces and put them here or or here right so you could take the same pieces from the mold and put them here and just mold a corner piece and you could make this puzzle and the center is the same with these centers you can just make more 
Um, but that's actually untrue. After talking to Calvin about injection molding and the process of making these puzzles, um, you have to mold an entire puzzle all over again. Uh, because if you make one piece and that mold is off by even a little bit, it doesn't fit quite perfectly in the puzzle. Um, so even though this mod is technically just a corner piece with extra pieces from a 4x4x6, um, the whole process of getting this mass produced is exactly the same cost as anything else. Um, and there was a post on the Twisty Puzzles forum about this and some people were ragging on me saying, uh, he doesn't deserve that or something like that. I'm not sure why. I mean, they were saying that it's, it's hardly a mod, who cares? But so is the Fisher Cube and everybody respects Tony Fisher for it. So is turning a ball and a cube into a ball. It's just an easy mod. Didn't invent a mechanism. So, um, yeah, I don't know why they're spreading that kind of negativity and hate around over a puzzle on the market they're not forced to buy. Anyways, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, anyways, so let's go ahead and scramble this thing up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is scramble these because as soon as you start scrambling these, you're bandaging and you don't want to bandage the same, um, the same colors together. So even if you go like this, this is too easy because now you solve it and it's one move back. So let's go ahead and swap some things. Let's go like this and uh, just apply some cuboid algorithms. I'm not going to say the algorithms as I do them. So uh, now that's like this. Let's turn it like this. Uh, and let's turn it like this. And after you've done a few, I mean, you can actually turn, uh, like turn this over, turn it back, turn this one, go like this and swap them that way if you'd like. So I think that's a pretty good scramble there. So now I'm just gonna scramble it like a four by four. All right, so I'm gonna call that a scrambled, crazy bad four by four by six. So I'm going to go and solve it. It's too long of a solve to put in this video. So I'm going to go and solve it up to the point of the last two layers. And then I'll come back and show you what I was talking about. All right. So this is basically what it looks like. And now the challenge is to do the top two layers as one. <laughs> and it is a lot more difficult than you may seem. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go to solve it and I'll just kind of show you parts of it. But I don't see any headlights in these two. We want to do these ones first. So I'll just apply this algorithm. And now do we have headlights anywhere? We do, we have them here. So we do them again. And now we've got them everywhere. That was actually a really easy case though. Um, we should, uh, so there's no parody, but maybe if I make a tutorial on this, uh, I'll, I'll do like a, a parody tutorial and all that. Okay, so I'm looking for headlights in the top. There's headlights here, there's none on the bottom. So I want to make sure those headlights go in the back, apply the algorithm. And now there should be two sets of headlights like this. Do it again. Okay, so now we have to realize where do they go? So these can swap here. And that'll do those two. And now Let's do another one here and, and then do these. Wow. So we got no parity on this one. That was actually a really easy case. And now we just have this little parity here to deal with. Wow. So no parity on that one. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'm going to upload a, a solve of this at some point. I think I may have of the other one. The original one but anyways that is the cube guys it's $29.99 on uh, the cubicle.us links at the top of the description and you could even get it cheaper if you use coupon code crazy bad cuber at checkout so i want to thank calvin's puzzle uh largely for um mass producing this i wasn't expecting it after four years of silence but uh it ended up happening so that's great i also want to show you guys that there is a fisher cube variation of this as well this is the prototype of it it's the same but unstickered it's exactly the same I haven't gotten around to this one yet, uh, but when I do, I'll make a video on this one. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.